All right, our next little beauty we're going to be installing is a radiator guard. Yeah, so one of my uh, subscribers commented saying I, I need to try radiator guard. So I've been looking at them, checking out different ones, and this one here, I uh, I really like it. I wish it came black, but it's only chrome, so I'm going to have to paint it. None of the black ones I really care for. I liked how it was minimal for blocking any airflow. Uh, you know, everything, the Z900 is thin, so air can still get through. Um, I want it more practical than cosmetic. And I'll show you one of the reasons why this is such a good idea. So I don't know how well you can make it up on the camera, but I've already got rock chips and uh, some bending happening from uh, rocks flying up from the tire and then right into the radiator. So that this mud guard's a little short. It should have actually come down to about here so that way it keeps stuff from flying into the radiator. But I know you can buy a mud guard to put on. Might eventually do that, but right now I want to stick a radiator guard on here. Some holes that you can clip onto. Now the kit did not come with clips, so I had some extra ones lying around from a, a previous purchase of other parts. So some screws and some clips, you're going to need four of these. The kit does not come with these, so you have to get your own. But you can find these at, I want to say you can get these at a, any, any parts store or even Home Depot or Lowe's. I'm going to sand it, I got some 800 grit sandpaper, so I'm going to scuff it up. So the new paint will stick to it. It's not like I'm staining it or need to take off material. Just stuff it up, scratching it up. All right, so we're taking some alcohol. Just to our paint prep. All right, and I'll leave a link below to this radiator guard. Got it from eBay. Did take almost three weeks to get it. Thought it was coming from the U.S. It said California, but it took so long. I'm thinking it came from China. All right, and since it is near the radiator, we're going to use a, a high temperature heat paint. Uh, it's very durable. A good experience with engine paint. Make sure you shake it. Do the shake. Alright, we're going to start with the back side. Alright, we're going to do two coats of that. I'm going to wait. 10 minutes, come back with coat two. Now we're gonna do coat two. Coat two down. This is gonna dry, we're gonna flip it over and do two coats on the front. Been right about an hour. So we flipped it over. Now we're gonna go ahead and do the top side. Uh, let it dry and come back and do another coat in about 10 minutes. Coat number two, last coat. Now we let it completely dry and then we'll go put it on the bike. Now that's all painted, we need to put some little rubber bumpers. It needs to be exact. It's just going to keep it from being scratched and making noises.
Let's go uh, take the bike apart. T4. Right here, you just got the pull out, pull out, and then this whole piece just slides back, hooks right in here. Right here, we're gonna have a T5. Push pin, basically just push in on the center, and you can pull it right out. And then to reset it, all you do is push the pin back up, so pops out. Ready for next, ready to reuse. All right, another T5. All right, so this whole piece now is held in by a grommet. So you just gotta push forward. And then you have your computer also. In there. So just push this pin, pops right out. All right, so that's what we're trying to get to is right there. Repeat the same process here. Four millimeter. Same thing. Pull at the bottom, slide back. We have another pop rivet here, we're gonna push that. Pull that one out, reset it. Five millimeter again right here. Same here, another five millimeter. Same thing here, just gonna pull towards the front of the bike. Comes right out. Right in here is this pit. Stick our nuts. Slash, I'm not sure what these things are called. Let's put it back together. A little hand sanitizer. You can put it on a little plug thing that you got. This little plug here. Put some hand sanitizer so it slides a little easier. A lot easier to get that in like that. Come back to a five millimeter at the bottom. We'll put our pop rivet back in the front. Same thing with this piece. A little hand sanitizer on these. That's right in. Alright, little screw in the front. This side the same way. A little hand sanitizer on the little plug. Also, we're going to plug in our computer back in. Five millimeter at the top. This one back in the bottom. A little pop plug back in, a little rivet. If you guys like the radiator video, please smash that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be bringing some more content.